Hello, my name is René and today I want to tell you something about machine learning. What we have here is one hyperspectral camera at the top uh, and two light sources. They are even unstabilized so we don't make our lives too easy. Down there we have our small measurement set up. Uh, we want to show you how to teach a camera to distinguish these two apples. Um, honestly, it's very hard even for humans to tell which kind of apple is which. So the easiest way to do that is to look at the back. So this is a Boskop and this one is a Royal Gala. Right? So, but how do you teach your camera to know that and how complicated is that? And this question is answered in the following video. The first thing you see here is our measurement laptop. We don't use a high power PC, it's just a very normal machine. Um, you see a live view which the spectral camera shows you and here you see some spectral um, responses except example given the blue one uh, gives you the uh, reflectance of the one apple which is just moving through. How do I teach the camera now which apple is which? The first is I switch out the room light so we don't have interference of uh, fluorescent light source and then the only thing you have to do is you put one apple in the middle uh, best without the sign uh, the plastic sign and in the software you just start a video so you wait for a few seconds whatsoever the software now records spectral images of the apple uh, while it is moving and rotating and then you can stop that. Then you switch to the other apple and do the same thing again. So record a video, just give it a few seconds and uh, it will now distinguish uh, how is the spectral response of that apple. Okay, we switch to the Qubit Classification Wizard. It's a very simple program which just assists you to classify different objects and do the machine learning without any hassle. Uh, step one is mainly the data acquisition, which we already did in the lab. In step two, we load um, the data. So here we um, load the data of the Boskop Apple, which we um, made a small video of. So we select the folder. The program starts automatically the upload of the data and um, it shows a small overview image of the spectral data and now it's loaded in. We add the uh, Royal Gala, which is that one, out of the images we took and it shows a slightly different image and as soon as it appears here it's loaded in. Now we just select these two images or the, these two data sets because we want to distinguish them and uh, we set a fruit classifier which was pre-programmed by Qbert and just press train. And that's more or less it. That's the whole process of machine learning uh, in our regards. It will um, now show you a small graph and um, it is 96% um, uh, accuracy of distinguishing, uh, distinguishing these two apples where I would guess most of us people would have problems with. And now we just export the data to our program folder and into the Qbert directory we call it apple and save it and done. After the training of the camera with the Qubit classification wizard, now the camera learned how to distinguish between Boskop and Gala apples. The thing you have to enable to show that is the preview mode. mode. We generated the apple preview, so I select that one. And Gala apples are now rendered purple and Boskop apples are rendered green. Um, the interesting thing about this classifier is that it does not just distinguish these two single apples, but you can also put different 
uh, kinds of that one species and they are all distinguished correctly. So this was only a small example. We can also distinguish between more um, bunches of apple or other types of um, objects. I will add some more examples to the end of this video. Thank you for your attendance and goodbye.